Hi, welcome to project three. So again, project three can be found in the module two projects and discussions. And the video is probably going to be right below this. So again, I need to open a new fresh data for the projects. And then I need to open project three on normal distribution. So here is the data again, fresh copy. Here is the project. So it wants me to use the GPA data from the class survey in answering the following questions. The first thing it wants is the mean and the standard deviation. The easiest way I found to do that is to go to, excuse me, go to the data and I'm going to copy all of the GPA data and do copy. And then I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to calculator soup, which we use back in quantitative data, and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to copy and paste it. If I do a control V as in Victor, it pastes it, and then I'm going to do calculate. And the wonderful thing here is it gives me the mean of 3.251. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it here on my sheet, and it gives me the standard deviation. So if I go here, here's the standard deviation. So then I'm just going to put it here. All right. So. I need to use the normal distribution in the inverse normal distribution websites to solve these problems, or you can use the calculator. I'm only going to show you using the websites because if you're using the calculator, there's enough stuff there to show you what to do. The reason I am doing the websites is it will be easier for me. Again, your data may be different from these numbers because every data set, the data sets change every semester. This is for my example data set that I'm showing you. So what percentage of GPAs are less than 1.0? So if I go to the normal distributed website that I have, normal distribution, I've got my mean, my standard deviation, and I'm going to do below. And remember, it wanted below 1.00. So I hit recalculate, and then I get, let me put it right here. I get 0 0.002, which becomes 0.02%. Why? Because I moved the decimal two places to the right. And that's how that becomes. All right. So let's look at the next one where the percentages are more than 3.5. So if I'm using the website, I don't have to do anything else. All I need to do is I've got my mean, my standard deviation, and then I put here above 3.5 and I hit recalculate it. And there it is. So I'm going to just control it and get 0.349, put it here. So 0.349, which becomes 34.9%. Now remember, you need to be writing these in sentences because it'll make your life so much easier to understand what's going on. So what does that mean? Almost 35% of students have a GPA higher than 3.5. That's what it means, okay? And then you're just going to do the rest of the problems. You do have some in here if it doesn't say percentage, but it says what's your 75th percentile? That's where you're going to do the inverse norm, okay? So again, I showed you using the, the websites. I think they're so much easier. That's what I would use. Hope this helps.